In this video, we're going to be talking about writing equations of lines. And there's three ways that we can write equations of lines. The first one is called point-slope form. And point-slope form is going to tell us y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. m is our slope. y and x stay in the equation always. And then x1, y1 represents a point. The other way that we can write the equation of a line, it's called slope-intercept form. And this is the most common one, y equals mx plus b, where m still is my slope, and then b is your y-intercept. And then we have standard form. And standard form says ax plus by is equal to c. In this case, there are three requirements in order for us to be able to write this equation in standard form. Requirement number one, there can be no fractions or decimals. Requirement number two, you basically have to make sure that your x is positive, okay? So the a, the number in front of x, has to be positive. So I'm going to say x is positive. And three is basically that it's going to be in this form, ax plus by equals c, where you're adding the x and the y together on one side of the equal sign, and then it's equal to the number by itself. So let's go ahead and try some problems. Directions. Find the equation of a line with a slope of negative two-thirds and a y-intercept of six. In this case, this problem is pretty easy because they already gave us the slope and they've given us the y-intercept. So I'm going to use slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b, and what I'm going to do is replace the slope and the y-intercept. So my equation is going to be y equals negative two-thirds x plus six, and this is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Just for practice, we're going to take this equation and we're going to rewrite it in standard form. If you remember, there's three requirements for standard form. I can't have fractions or decimals. Right away, I can tell that I have a fraction. Also, the second requirement is that x is positive. Here, x is negative. And the third requirement is that you have x and y together on one side of the equal sign and the number on the other side, which clearly right here, we have y by itself and the x is on the other side of the equal sign. So this one has every single problem wrong with it. So let's go ahead and start with the fractions. How do I get rid of the fraction? And the way I do that is to multiply the entire equation by the least common denominator, which in this case is three. So we're going to take the entire equation and we're going to multiply it by three. So I'm going to get three times y equals three times negative two thirds x plus three times six. The entire equation gets multiplied by three. So here I end up with three y equals the threes will cancel, negative 2x plus 18. So I'm almost done. I got rid of the fraction. Now I have x is negative, but x is also on the wrong side of the equal sign. It has to get together with the y. So by simply adding 2x to both sides, it is going to take care of both problems at the same time. It's going to make my x positive, and it's going to make sure that it's in the form ax plus by is equal to c. And so this would be the equation of the line now written in standard form. So now I've showed you how to write the same equation in slope-intercept form and standard form. Okay, directions. Find the equation of a line passing through the points 0, negative 5 and negative 4, comma 7. So in this particular case, I do want you to realize this point, because it is 0 comma negative 5, this is actually just the y-intercept, okay, which is good news for us because in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we need slope and the y-intercept. So right now, we actually do have the y-intercept, okay? So in the equation y equals mx plus b, I already know this is going to be y equals mx, and then that's going to be negative 5 because that's the y-intercept. So what we need to do right now is figure out slope. 
for my points, I'm going to make this x1, y1, x2, y2. So the slope is going to equal y2, which is 7, minus y1, which is negative 5, all over x2, which is negative 4, minus x1, which is 0. Negative negative is a positive. This equals 12 over negative 4, which means my slope is equal to negative 3. So I know that my final answer is going to be y equals negative 3x minus 5. And again, this is the answer in what's called slope intercept form. If I want to go ahead and rewrite this in standard form, we have to talk about the three requirements for standard form. And they are, number one, I can't have fractions or decimals. Right now I don't have that, which is great. Number two, the x has to be positive. Right now we have negative 3x, so that's not positive. And number three, it has to be in the form ax plus by equals c, where the x is together with the y. So that's an easy fix. I can go ahead and fix the positive x part and the form all at the same time. So we are going to go plus 3x to both sides. And then that's going to leave me with 3x plus y equals negative 5. So now this is the same equation of the same line, but now this is written in what's called standard form. Okay, let's try another problem. Find the equation of a line passing through the points 10, 5, and 12, 8. Write your answer in slope, intercept, and standard form. Okay, so here we have two points, 10, 5, 12, 8. Neither one is the y-intercept because it's not zero comma something. So that means I have a little bit more work to do, but that's fine. Just like before, we're going to start off with the slope. Let's go ahead and substitute y2 is 8 minus y1, which is 5 all over x2, which is 12, minus x1, which is 10. So this is 3 halves. So now that I know the slope is 3 halves, I have to figure out the y-intercept. How do I figure out the y-intercept? Well, y equals mx plus b. I figured out the slope is 3 over 2. And so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to choose one point to work with. You're going to get the same answer whether you choose the point 10, 5 or the point 12, 8. I'm going to choose the point 10, 5. And what I'm going to do is replace the y and the x with the 10 and the 5. So I'm going to write 5 equals 3 over 2 times 10 plus b. So now from here, 3 times 10 over 2, that's going to give me, 2 goes into 10 5 times, 15 plus b. So if I subtract 15 from both sides, I get b equals negative 10. So now I figured out the y-intercept. And just for fun, so that you realize that you actually do get exactly the same answer, I'm going to choose the other point and show you that my y-intercept is still going to be negative 10. We're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to make this x and y. So if y is equal to 3 over 2x plus b, then I'm going to write 8 is equal to 3 over 2 times 12 plus b. 2 goes into 12 6 times. 8 is equal to 18 plus b. And if I subtract 18 from both sides, guess what I end up with? b is equal to negative 10. So as you can see, doesn't matter which point you pick, you're going to get the same y-intercept because it's exactly the same line. Now I can finish the problem. The equation is going to be y equals 3 over 2x minus 10. And this is in slope intercept form. And to write this into standard form, we're going to have to first get rid of the fraction by multiplying the entire equation by 2, which is the denominator. So I get 2y equals 3x minus 20. And now something interesting happens. In the other problems, we had negative x. So by moving the x, we took care of having the x and y together on the same side. I'm going to go ahead and move the 3x, but you're going to notice that I have negative 3x plus 2y equals negative 20. And now I have created a new problem for myself, which is that I have a negative x. It's okay. I can basically switch all the signs because I can divide the entire equation by negative 1. So this is positive, this is negative, 
this is positive, and now I have the entire answer written in standard form. Let's go ahead and work out the final problem. In this case, it says find the equation of a line through the point 1 comma negative 3 with a slope of 0. I'm going to show you two ways to get to the same answer. The first way is by doing this exactly the way we've been doing it before. y equals mx plus b. The slope we know is 0. So here y equals 0 times x plus b. We know the point is 1 comma negative 3. So negative 3 is equal to 0 times 1 plus b. Of course, 0 times 1 is just 0. So we end up with 0 plus b. And that means b is negative 3. So the equation becomes y equals 0x minus 3, which looks a little awkward. So we're just going to write y equals negative 3 as the equation. So that's the step-by-step -step way of doing problem. So that way you've done it exactly the same way I've showed you before. However, I want you to keep in mind that the minute they tell you the slope of the line is 0, we are talking about a horizontal line. And why is that important? Well, the equation of any horizontal line is y is equal to some number. So here, the y value, because this is x, this is y for my ordered pair, I know that my answer right away was going to be y is equal to negative 3. You might be thinking, that's fine, I don't need to remember that because I can just go ahead and do it the long way and I'm okay with that. But the problem, instead of telling you the slope is 0, could have told you that the slope is undefined or that there is no slope. And so let's pretend, okay, right here we're going to be playing the pretend game. It has nothing to do with this problem, but we're pretending. Let's say they were to ask you for the equation of a line that passes through the point 1, negative 3, but has a slope that is undefined, or they tell you has no slope. In that case, you can't go through y equals mx plus b. You need to understand that this is a vertical line because the slope of any vertical line is undefined and that the equation of a vertical line is x equals some number. And then you would have realized the answer here is x is equal to 1. So it is kind of important for you to realize horizontal lines have slopes that are 0, y equals some number is the equation, and here if I have a vertical line, hypothetically let's pretend we had a vertical line question, then we know that the slope is undefined and the equation is x equals some number. So just kind of things for you to keep in mind. But in this particular case, it was a horizontal line and we were able to just go through it the long way. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more help with math so that you can say, yes, I can do math with confidence. Until next time, thanks for watching.